I don't think there's enough words to describe this city. It is all over the place. What's up, Pea Nation? Today we are starting our American tour of America, and our first stop is... New Orleans! <laughs> we're here, it's hot, we only have 24 hours, and we're trying to show you as much as possible. It's gonna be a fight. So not only are we in New Orleans where the party is definitely at, it is the red dress run today, which is the thing where people dress up in like red dresses. Like anyone dresses up in a red dress and then they run at like 6 a.m. And then they just party for the rest of the day. As you can see, there's people behind me still partying. So it's gonna be super lively today. I'm really excited. We're gonna try some really good food. We only have 24 hours here, like we said before, and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so it was really hot down the French Quarter, so we came out here to, I think this is the 8th Ward, to Hanson Snowball. It's a great place to cool off because they call it snowballs instead of snow cones. It's like shaved ice. They patented their own machine to make a unique texture that you can't find anywhere else. And they also have over 100 different flavors of syrups that they make here in-house. Okay, so we just got our snowballs. It's basically just like compact snow. And then they do this with the straw to like make air holes. And that's why there's all these little bubbles everywhere. I got chalk, cream of chocolate, which is like a creamy flavor, and cream of blueberry together. So let's see how this is. Normally snowball syrup is like super syrupy and like really strong. It kind of tastes like a Sour Patch Kid. This is very subtle. And it kind of just goes along with the ice that's here because it's like eating snow instead of eating like hard, crunchy ice. It's just all a, like, Harder mashed potato consistency. I don't know how to say it other than that, but it's cold and it's chocolate and there's a little bit of blueberry here and this is just what we needed to cool us off. I don't know what he's talking about, about mashed potato texture. This is seriously the best snow cone you could ever imagine. I don't even like snow cones because usually like the ice is really hard and it's crunchy, but they literally make snow with their ice machine and it is just so good. I got the rosemary and mint flavor and it tastes like a natural food store. It is so good. We also got one of their signature flavors. It's Satsuma. I don't even know what that is. It tastes like oranges, but also clementines and tangerines. All in the same thing. That is pungent. For the record, I did finish mine because I love sweets. I am so cooled off right now. The bottom piece is like chocolate milk. Like once it's chocolate melted and ice, it's just like drinking chocolate milk. That is so sweet. So now we're gonna head back into the French Quarter to check out some more old stuff. I guess you could say, waiting for the sun to go down, trying to catch up on some rest. We didn't really take a nap. It is so much better feeling outside right now. Oh my god. Temperature is up by so 40 warm. degrees. That might be exaggeration. But we're gonna go out, we're gonna have dinner, and then show you this crazy party that is New Orleans. Bourbon Street! Oh, 
normally jazz, people are like, oh, we're gonna fall asleep. But here it's really lively. Okay, and the place behind us is called Lafitte. They have made it a point to not ever put electricity in. They're trying to keep it the same as it was in the 1800s. Obviously, there's soundtrack and like lights on the street, but on the <laughs> inside, there are no lights in there. None. So if you come to the end of Bourbon Street, this is the secret of Bourbon Street. There is a street party. It is so much fun. Okay, so we are only here for 24 hours. However, if we were here longer, we would definitely do a ghost tour. There are so many, and this place is spooky. Especially spooky. Can you imagine how much history has happened here? New Orleans is an old city. So on an especially packed Friday night, Saturday night? In New Orleans, we are here at Verity Market, and you can get the best of the best, po' boys, mac and cheese, green beans, anything you want. It's pretty inexpensive, and it is sure good. Well, 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 we have a dressed fried shrimp po' boy. This looks so good. It's gonna be so hot when we get home. It's like the crispiest fried shrimp you've ever had, but they are big shrimp, they're not little shrimp. And they've got like a beautiful mustard mayonnaise on there with some lettuce. This is perfect for a night out on the town, especially for out on Bourbon Street. Now I'm trying the mac and cheese, and it's just super rich, right? It has like cheddar, but then in the middle it has like Swiss or something. It's super rich and just like a hint of spicy, but not too much. Like it's not like. Now I have been handed the grilled shrimp Philly. It is melted onions, mushrooms, peppers, shrimp on a Philly cheesesteak. Mm. Very vegetable-y. I don't think I got a piece of shrimp yet. But it's like Philly cheesesteak, basically a salad. Philly cheesesteak salad. It's amazing. Ooh, I'm gonna try and finish this, and then it's on a bourbon screen. super late last night so this morning was a little bit of a slower morning for us we know when you're in New Orleans you're supposed to go to Cafe du Monde and eat the beignets which we've done plenty of times yeah we, we've done that a couple of times so we're going to brunch today at Court of Two Sisters it's a very old restaurant we're gonna try and sit in the courtyard it's supposed to be very very nice so I'm really excited to show you what we're gonna have <laughs> Court of Two 
two sisters, and the first thing you see when you come in here is the charm gate. You're supposed to run it for good luck. I can see. Sisters has a very interesting history. It has been here since like the 1600s and it has been home to many governors, future Supreme Court leaders, so many dignitaries have lived here. But it became a restaurant when two sisters decided they were going to purchase this building and have tea and treats for their guests. And it just turned into this huge restaurant and it has so many people come every single weekend. It is absolutely delicious. The whole buffet. It is incredible food, true Creole and Cajun cooking. It is so good. So in a desperate attempt to pace ourselves, we only started off with the cold and hot, like, I guess appetizer section. There's like three different sections in there. There's cold food, there's like a whole grill section, and then they have this whole line of hot food. We're trying. Okay, so I got the New Orleans Seafood Shrimp Creole Omelet, that's a mouthful. And I like to add sauces to all my things, so I got some crawfish estuffet and some spinach sauce, and this is glazed sweet potatoes. It's about to be crazy. It's like a myriad of flavors in your mouth. You have the spinach, and the like seafood, it's like a mix. It's like a shrimp and crab, and I think something else is in there. And with the egg, it's just like all lightly balanced out. It's a really good light meal. And now we're trying this glazed sweet potato. Mm. It tastes just like what the sauce is supposed to taste like. It's taking me back to my grandmother's kitchen in Texas on Thanksgiving night. It's got a little bit of maple and some cinnamon, and the pecans add a crunchy aspect to the mushiness. It's really good. The really great thing about this place is the service. So after just picking out some shrimp, they actually brought us little bowls of like lemon and hot water so you can like clean your fingers. I feel like I'm in Princess Diaries. So I don't know if you can tell, the band has started playing and the ambiance has gotten that much better. Now we're trying the veal grillade, and we used to be 100% against veal, but after traveling so much throughout Europe, we've eaten so much veal, so how can I say no? It's like steak, but with gravy, and it's got some Italian flavors. It's really good. For our last course, maybe, we've got classic pecan pie, <laughs> some, I think it's whipped cream, but it's like super dense, and this has just been heaven on earth. I'm sorry that this meal is coming to an end. So I think I just created something that's going to be really good. I don't know because this whipped cream is really good. These sweet potatoes are even better. And together, this could be the best dessert I've ever had. <laughs> that's confirmed. You need to come to the Court of Two Sisters for sweet potatoes and whipped cream because it will change your life. Ugh, so cool. That was so good. Brunch was amazing. I just love French cooking because they use like all these different sauces. You know, like Creole has the Cajun aspect and it's a lot different than French cooking, but you combine it with the French cooking and there's so many sauces. So like every plate I had had at least eight different sauces on it. And I think combined we probably had 10 plates full of food and maybe five desserts. We can, I mean, this is like our one meal of the day. If you're here, you gotta do it. You gotta make an entire meal of it. Gonna be a fine day today for you and me. It's gonna be a fine day today, just wait and see. Oh, this town is so gorgeous. It's like you wake up in an amusement park because everything is so old and ornate and just, it's like everything is kept to detail just like it was in the 1700s. It's truly a unique experience. Okay, and there are plenty of gift shops, but we are avoiding the voodoo shops because I believe that voodoo magic is real and I don't want to get any bad juju. All right, and we are on Bourbon Street now. It's about two o'clock on a Sunday and people are having fun. There obviously aren't as many people because the streets are clear, but this place is crazy at all hours of the day. I thought it was just night. It happens to be all day, every day.
driven out into the garden district. This neighborhood is beautiful. Commander's Palace is right over there. Really famous spot. And we're gonna take you in a cemetery. Okay, so we made it in here. I know a lot of you guys are thinking like, why are you going to a cemetery? Like, that's kind of eerie. But and honestly, it's part of history. You know, we're, we're learning more of history and more of the people that lived in these neighborhoods and how they were buried. And the reason these are above ground instead of below ground. I guess we can into that real quick. The reason they are above ground is because we are actually five feet below sea level. So yep. they had to put them above ground with huge, huge marble slabs on them to keep them from rising up if there ever was a flood so that the graves could stay in the ground. Pretty creepy stuff. But it's really fun to actually just walk around because they have so many tours that go around this, mm -hmm. this specific grave site. Mm -hmm. And every time, you know, if you're just passing by a tour, you'll learn something new. Like we just learned that you can only open up some of these, what do you call them? Graves. Graves once a year so it can be problematic the, the, if you have yeah. like the decay process takes an entire year so yeah. if you open it sooner than that then the process will be done completely is that what you just mm -hmm. listened okay so yeah so what if you have four people die in one year it's problematic i don't know <laughs> Some perspective on how old and used these pieces are. This dates back to 1840, and the most recent burial here was 1953. That's over 110 years they've been burying people in this square. delicious, unique, French. I don't think there's enough words to describe this city. It is all over the place, and that's why we love it so much. If you ever have a chance to come here, 24 hours probably isn't enough, but it is a start. It's gonna be a fine day today. Just wait and see. You can't fly with that shrimp, it's too big. So I got honey lavender. And so now we're gonna try it. It tastes like salt. It tastes like an old lady, like <laughs> perfume, you know? Mmm, like the soap of an old lady. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. We've had so much fun for 24 hours in New Orleans.